Good afternoon. I'm meteorologist Olga Ospina with an update on this strong Pacific storm that continues to bring us some rain across Southern California. Things are winding down a bit. We're kind of getting a little bit of a break. Some light rain through Ventura County. As we head into the LA area, we're even seeing some areas of dry conditions, as is the case for parts of the Inland Empire and into Orange County, although we're starting to see a little bit of movement starting to move in for the coastal areas, Laguna Niguel into San Clemente, and a lot of moisture still to our north. We have lightning strikes for Central California, and here at home, we're looking also at still a slight chance for thunderstorms uh, for us, too. Future cast showing us as we head into later tonight, we'll start to see a few pockets of some heavier rain moving through Ventura County. But then here is the big one. Look at this, uh, this big fetch of moisture moving in in the overnight hours. And as we head into early Tuesday, here's your commute time, 715. We're seeing some of that heavier rain out through the L.A. area and moving into the Inland Empire. We'll start to clear out for some of us by Tuesday afternoon and then by late Tuesday into Wednesday. Look at this. Here we go again. Another wave of very heavy rain moving in. This is going to move through mostly in the overnight hours and we'll still be left with a little bit of moisture for the early part of your Wednesday and then continuing to dry out as we head into the afternoon and into the evening hours. All of us, though, are under a flood watch. That's going to continue still through Wednesday morning. And then the stronger flash flood warning, that is for much of Ventura County as well as part of L.A. County, including the Hollywood Hills, out through Malibu, PCH, into the San Fernando Valley. And there's a look at Ventura County also being impacted as Ventura has received the most rain so far. Up in the mountains, for some areas, we've seen nearly seven inches of rain, and we'll continue to see that rain coming as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday. Moderate to heavy rain, chance of thunderstorms, and then the risk of flooding and mudslides as well as landslides as we're coming off of another huge atmospheric river event just about a week and a half, two weeks ago. So everything's really saturated, and we're getting more rain. High surf advisory as well as coastal flooding, a possibility for our local beach through Tuesday. We also have a wind advisory for Ventura County, the northern mountains. That's going to continue until 6 tonight, gusts nearing 60 miles per hour. And along the coastline, that high surf advisory with the largest waves for Ventura County, 10 to 15 feet, strong rip currents, and the highest surf is on west, southwest facing beaches. Coastal flood advisory, if you live near the coast, those parking lots could be seeing some water as well, a little bit of flooding with the greatest risk of flooding during during the morning high tide. So tomorrow that's going to be right around that 5, 6 a.m. hour. Temperature wise, as expected, it's going to be a cool one today. Highs, a lot of us not getting out of the 50s. We have upper 50s from Simi Valley into Burbank, Pasadena at 56, plenty of 50s out through the Inland Empire. We'll see a few low 60s, uh, Santa Ana topping out at 60, Laguna Beach 61 degrees, as well as for Camarillo. And numbers start to rise just a bit as we head into the end of the week. By Friday, we're near 70 degrees. That's going to be our nicest day. Some sunshine before things start to change by the weekend and into early next week. For the mountains, 40s will be the story for you. Drier conditions by Thursday into Friday. And then some unsettled weather as we head into late in the week and into the early part of next week. Keep it here on KCAL. We'll continue updating you throughout the afternoon and into the evening on this uh, powerful Pacific storm.